Hey y'all. So this would be considered day 10 of my documented food journey. Some days are like skip between when it comes to making videos because I'll forget. Or I don't wanna say relapse, but um, I just won't really have a good eating type day. Like I might be super stressed and I'm just not thinking about eating or I just, just I'm not putting away the right type of food or whatever. So this would be day 10 of the documented eating. And what I definitely can say is that I feel like to an extent my mm, my relationship with food is becoming better because I'm forcing myself to eat. Like I'll be in the feeling a hunger pain point as I'm currently feeling a hunger pain, but I just ate, but I need to eat again. Um, I'll be in the feeling a hunger pain point and I'll be like, ready to just tell my no just just focus just do whatever you're doing don't worry about eating and i'll tell myself no go eat force yourself to eat or i might be in a like it's been kind of slow in the club and i might be in a point where i've realized i had a, a link and that's why um i guess documenting my journey or trying to be more conscious about all of this stuff is making me realize just how unhealthy my relationship was with food like I'll be at a point working sometimes and make myself feel almost as though I have to earn a plate of food because I didn't make enough money. So, oh no, don't just take the bit of money that you have and go buy no food. Just like keep working until you have more money and then it won't just take away everything you have. But that's also not super healthy. So, um, honestly, I hate that my job or just my productivity really is what is so directly linked with me not eating or me being so stressed is what's linked with me not eating and you know i'm trying my best the biggest step oh, excuse me. the biggest step in solving a problem first of all is realizing that you have a problem and that's what i was saying in the other day where i was kind of talking about um do i have anorexia because i truly and then someone commented and i realized i truly probably don't have anorexia i just experience disorganized eating where when i'm stressed i'm not eating if i feel like i haven't made enough money i'm not eating i'm almost treating myself as though i need to earn a meal opposed to just i just need to eat just because that's what i need to do you know so the bad habit of freaking what is it called um i forgot the word but it's like intermediate fasting i have that bad habit of intermediate fasting but at least i'm realizing what my issues are and i feel like that's a big point in life whether it be like an eating journey whether it be exercise journey whether it be just life journey whatever you have to be introspective and you have to kind of be cognizant of why things are going the way they're going and then you can start to try to set forth the right steps to try to do better so i'm glad that i'm noticing all of that oh excuse me y'all i'm tired and i'm gonna have to head into work soon and i need to eat again because i ate like one time for today i had that american deli so i need to go eat something else i'm gonna try to order a plate of food when i get to work yeah so i will see you guys in a second i forgot to get a video of it when it was sitting regular I'm having some jerk salmon and rice. So, did I eat anything else today? I don't freaking know, y'all. Yeah. I don't know. No, y'all, yeah, I ain't eat nothing else. Sad to say. Oh. But it's been all right, babe. I had some snacks, so we'll be all right.